What? The Commandant wanted to leave your weapon here. Guard it with care. It's very valuable. Wait, Wolf. I need to talk to the Commandant too. You going inside or not? Listen, friend. I'm an officer and you're a runt. And when I say jump, you will not only... Come on, Roach. With these cunts, Laredo couldn't protect the port from a drunk lumberjack, let alone Yorveth. He's succeeded so far, Roach. The port is rotting away. A ballista! The bastard's got a ballista. You know the power of this weapon. Hmm. Its arms strengthened with bronze plates and strung with horsehair. It can propel heavy bolts up to a mile away. Yeah, an experienced crew can release two bolts each minute, but it can't hit the same spot twice because it recoils and shifts. I've heard that somewhere before. Where did you learn about Ballista? I knew someone who knew a bit about them. Unimportant. We need to damage it if we don't want to be at Laredo's mercy. They're all drunk here now. I'll provoke the guard. Relax, Roach. I don't want to fight this rabble again. As long as that weapon's operational, no one will sail this section of the Pontar without Laredo's express permission. I'll handle this. Go have a drink. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. A little lamp was skipping down the path. Plow them all, plow them all. Along came a... What do you need, ugly? I wanted to surprise my friend, the sad-looking guy by the ballista. Some idiot wanted me to read him poems recently. Extravagance, as I say it. I didn't like it. I was thinking of something a little more traditional. What would you have me do? Just go with your specialty. All right. It'll be my standard rate. Draw him away from the ballista while you're at it. Slap me hard and call me stupid. Trying to put one by me? That'll cost you more. How's that? Surcharge on special requests. Those are the rules. Let me think it over. A favor for a favor? There is one thing you could do for me. And that is? Myron and Alphonse, two of Laredo's thugs. Give them a good thrashing, and I'll even blow... I stirred up enough trouble as it is during the execution. No need to stir trouble. Just humiliate them some ways. Consider it done. Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Not just yet. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? I don't like strangers. What you want, old man? I was looking to test my strength. Arm wrestling. What do I stand to gain? Nothing, because I'll thrash you. And if I win? You'll have beat a witcher, so I guess that gets you bragging rights. Are you that good, old fella? The Grey Wolf? Mm hmm. All right. Let's begin. Haven't had this good a time in ages. <laughs> That's true. You know this one. <laughs> a little lamp was skipping down the path. <laughs> plow them all, plow them all. <laughs> Along came a dwarf and kicked him in the arse. <laughs> plow them all, plow them all. Oh, you are fucking <laughs> dirty rotten scum. Plow them all, plow them all. Do that again. Damn the dogs. The old man got me. I need to eat. Build up a bit. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion. They say witches have no need to plow. Did you I don't like freaks. And I don't like oafish no-necks. What do you want, mutant? To try my luck. Arm wrestling. I'm gonna crush you, mutant. Save the boasting till later. Let's do this. Haven't had this good a time in ages. <laughs> That's true. You know this one. 
Primal, primal. The long came the door back, kicked him in the arse. Primal, primal. Oh, you are fuck, do the rotten scum. Primal, primal. Do that again. I hate me. I know, I know. You've had your song. Care for some real diversion? <laughs> Hmm? Myron and Alphonse. Teach them a lesson yet? Of course. All right. I'm off to give the boy some diversion. Nothing better than a fireside feast. <laughs> Except a fireside feast with copious amounts of liquor. <laughs> Add plow into the mix and it doesn't get any better. Luckily, the Commandant's provided it all. Care for a little diversion, <laughs> Grave One. Come here, lass. Your I'm on duty. Story for oh, come on. So long as Your you can comrades to tell are well at it having their I'll fun. Why should you be any worse? You're right. Let's go. This good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. A little apple skipping down the path. Primal, primal. Along came a dwarf bag, kicked him in the ass. Primal, primal. Oh, you are fucking rock scum. Primal, Do that again. Laredo's busy with that witch Sheila. Come back later. Geralt, let's wait downstairs in the yard. This good a time in ages. Yes. Do we wait until the honorable lady is done with the venerable hick? Waste of time. Looks like a good number of Flotsam's town watchmen are here. We should look around. Did you see that arbalist behind the house? I'll get his attention. Give him something to think about. Why don't you find out what they're guarding so closely? My apologies, gentlemen. I could not help overhearing your conversation. What do you want? In point of fact, it's a matter for the Witcher. I have an offer. An offer? Interesting. I suspect you did not come to Flotsam for pleasure alone. You suspect right. Do you know about the monster in the river? Might have heard something. I expect someone will hire you to deal with it sooner or later. Thus, I presume that... Stop presuming, expecting, and concluding. Just tell me what you want. Our honored host is in possession of part of a trap, built especially for the beast in question. Go on. Around back, there's a storage area where Laredo keeps the treasures he confiscates from merchants and travelers. There are heaps of things out there. Let me guess. You know exactly where I need to look. Precisely. I saw Laredo's men carrying the contraption across the garden in a crate. They placed it on a platform by the wall, beyond which lies the craftsman's district. Why are you telling me? Why? We need to be rid of the beast as soon as possible. Good luck! All right. I'll distract the guard. You sneak behind the house. Brilliant as ever. That's true. You know this one. Soldier! You've had your song. Care for some real diversion. What do you want? Shut it, soldier.
You forget who you're dealing with, Commandant. You must think me an idiot. I cannot help myself. You take guardsmen off the streets to guard carpets, fabrics and spices pilfered from merchants. Do you have any grasp of the responsibility that rests with you? Don't teach an old man to piss, sorceress. I've ruled Flotsam for years. Flotsam is ruled by a fear of your death. That fear rules even you. I've made my demands perfectly clear. Like a crying babe deprived of its rattle. In time, Commandant, they'll hang you by the neck from a roadside tree like a regular bandit. And rightly so, for you're no better. Your time will come too, sorceress. They'll pile kindling at your feet. Enough. Fear has confused you. Think over what I said and give your answer before it's too late. That one struts about as if he were the king himself. Didn't like him from the start. Laredo's storing valuable gifts from the merchants right here. He may be expecting Yorvith to attack. I overheard the Commandant talking to Sheila. I couldn't pinpoint the topic of their conversation but it seems to me he's angling for something. We'll see what he has to say. Everything's where it should be. Could you, uh, prove it to me? Before it gets you a peek, though not a long one. Go in. They await you. Where are we to go? I'd hardly call this a hut. You, I mean you, sir, cannot enter. We've been ordered to let in the Witcher, but no one else. Son of a bitch. Fine. He wants to play hard, we'll play hard. I don't want any trouble. I'll call for support. No need. Tell Lorito I got the message. See you, Roach. Haven't had this good a time in ages. That's true. You know this one. A little apple skipping down the park. Ramble, ramble. Here to see the Commandant. We have business to discuss. Good luck. He's in a foul mood. Why? We'll talk another time, and definitely elsewhere. Finally! They didn't want to let me in while the Sorceress was here. Did you see her? Made up like a whore on parade day. They think they can do anything, those Sorceresses. I heard what happened in Temeria. You know your name's on a warrant. It's unfortunate. Now nothing that should impede our dealings. See, I'm the law round here. 
and the law needs to know what the legendary White Wolf's doing in this cesspit. I'm looking for the man responsible for Foltest's death. Here? I know the Scoyatel had a hand in it too. It's their trail I followed to Flotsam. Lucky you found Bernard Laredo then. If you're telling the truth, your vet's got raw blood on his hands. I can help you find him. The Kingslayer. That's who I want. Huge man, pretty hard to mistake. Was it him? Yeah, he killed Foltest. Now he's sneaking around these woods. In that case, we'll get him too. I trust you're on our side. Whose side is that? That of the people of Flotsam, of course. Terrorized by the elven bandits for years now. A local conflict, none of my business. You killed some elves on the riverbank outside Flotsam. We were attacked. You failed to understand. It's you who doesn't understand, Lurido. To tell you the truth, I'm not human. You an elf? A dwarf? No, talking bollocks. I piss on the fact that they call you freak for your white hair and glowing eyes. You're a human like any other. We're fighting a war, and you, my friend, cannot straddle the fence. What about the elves and dwarves in the trading post? The smiths, peddlers, and hunters? They eat with you, sleep among you. Whose side are they on? Hell if I know. That's my point, Witcher. When you fight for survival, you need to be sure who your friends are. The non-humans in Flotsam, sure, they eat, fuck, shit among us. But when Yorveth sounds the battle horns, who knows what they'll do. I'm surprised they haven't turned on you already. How so? The town guards treat non-humans like shit. Frankly, I don't know what keeps them here. I'll tell you what, Geralt. The hunger they'd face in the forest. But I grant you, those acts of uh, insubordination need to be stopped. Soldiers are simple men. When you see your mate die, a scoyatel arrow in his throat, it's hard to look favorable at the elf who sells your wife colored kerchiefs. You're a witcher. Your job is to protect the simpletons from monsters. I protect them from the danger that lurks amongst the trees. I see where this is going. Yorvith's no better than a monster that attacks those who go out to gather kindling. Matter of fact, he's worse. He's smarter and crueler. How do we get him? I don't want you to kill him. Even you don't have a hope against his entire force. I have an idea, but I'd rather not go into it now. The squirrels are up to something. Every night their scouts come closer. I suspect they plan to attack the barge moored in the port. What's on the barge? You mean who? Bandits, murderers, rapists. On their way to the dungeons at Drakenborg. As soon as... Their infamous leader joins them. The cherry on the cake and Bernard Lurido's crown trophy. Couldn't have put it better myself. As long as your vet remains free, humans, elves, and dwarves will live alongside each other in deep distrust. I've got to learn what the pointy-eared rat is planning. How am I supposed to get that information? <laughs> you underestimate me, Witcher. True, I have my prejudices, but I'm not blinded by them. Take your friend Zoltan, for instance. He contacted your vet. How can Zoltan help if he can't go outside the walls? <laughs> Step by step, Geralt. That's how you build trust. You could start by tending to a problem we have. A beast. The Karen has blocked all boat traffic. I'm losing tolls. Uh, that is, um, the trading post is losing revenue. Kill the Karen, and I'll declare your friends acquitted of their crimes. Then Zoltan can take you to see Yorveth. I'll see what I can find out. Though you stir up storms wherever you go, I actually believe you'll bring peace to Flotsam. Don't disappoint this town, Geralt. Farewell!
haven't had this good a time in ages. Kicked him in the arse. Plow wall, plow wall. Oh, you are a fat, dirty, rotten scum. <laughs> <laughs>